an epidemic grows, local lawmakers are proposing a major crackdown, including a plan to charge some drug dealers with homicide. Chowdhury's Matthew Campbell spoke directly to those behind the bill and those who would be affected by it. Well, Dennis and Denise, the proposal is simple. If your drug kills, you could be charged with a homicide. It's one and done. And it's, it's a Russian roulette now. Matthew Walton knows the dangers of heroin and the impact it has on Connecticut's youth better than most. A bag of heroin now costs less than a six pack of beer. And for somebody in high school, in, it's in a tragic way, it's somewhat easier to obtain heroin than is beer. As president of High Watch Recovery Center in Kent, he's seen heroin kill. The people that are bringing this stuff in are, are absolutely, I think, culpable uh, in in, in creating conditions where people are going to die. And now lawmakers are looking to punish the dealers accordingly. Right now, dealers could get manslaughter. State Rep Devin Carney introduced a bill that would charge drug dealers with homicide if their product kills a user. Representative Jason Perillo backs it wholeheartedly. His 113th district, which serves Shelton, has been plagued by overdoses. What's out there on the streets has gotten more and more potent. Many times heroin, an already powerful opioid, is laced with fentanyl. It takes an infinitesimally small amount of fentanyl to uh, create a lethal dose. Just this year, Hartford police have responded to multiple overdoses, and in cases that result in deaths, fentanyl could be considered the homicide weapon. The street drug of yesterday, uh, the heroin of yesterday, is not the heroin of today. Uh, so we get to the point where, all right, now it's time to now it's time to change the way we handle this in the courts. Governor Malloy has been battling against the heroin epidemic for most of his tenure, and Perillo is hoping this bill will have bipartisan support. This is something that like-minded people, regardless of the party, can get behind. Matthew Campbell. Channel 3 I would.